Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to share with you a tutorial on how to create this box um, that I created to hold my clothespins. Um, basically you're going to need one 6 by 5 and a half design paper. Um, it doesn't have to be double sided. Um, this is a Kane Company, uh, this is a Classic K collection. It's an older collection but I'm just going to use this sample here. And then you're going to need one 12 by 12 design paper that's also double sided because both sides will show. So let's get started. Okay, so on the 12 by 12, really simple, um, I just use my score pal and you're going to score it at 4 and 8 inches. Okay, so let's go 4 and then eight, turn, four, and then eight. Okay. Take that out. And then now we're just going to fold those crease lines. And then now you're going to cut all four corners out. And I'm just going to use my Martha Stewart scissors here to cut it out. You can use your trimmer if you like. This makes a really cute box to hold your clothespins. And cut the last corner here. Okay, now you're going to need um, your corner rounder punch, and I'm just going to use my crocodile corner chomper, and I'm going to use the uh, one and a fourth inch corner rounder. Just going to round the corners. There's also really pretty uh, decorative corner rounders or corner punches out there if you want it to look a little more fancy. But we'll just keep this one a little simple here. Okay, so that's all you have to do on that one. So that part is good. Now I just take one of these um, and I take my crocodile, okay, and I'm going to use, see what side am I using, the 3 16 circle punch, and I'm going to punch a hole in the center. Okay, I just eyeball it. If you want it to be exact measurements, then you can measure it with your ruler. But I'm just going to eyeball it. Okay, and I think that looks good. Okay, and then I'm going to take that and just match it up with um, these ends here. So they're, you know, exactly the same. And I'm going to do that to all four. Make sure they match. Okay, I'm going to do the last two. Okay, 
So we've got that. And then I just used four large eyelets. And I'm going to put that in here. So you're going to take, you're going to flip it over basically. And you're going to use your crocodile again. I'm going to do that to all four. And you could distress the edges. I use, I actually use my distressing tool to give it more of a distressed look on the paper. Um, you can also distress it with ink if you want to give it more of a, again, a distressed look. But this one I'll just keep simple. Okay, so we set all our eyelets. Okay, so it should look like that. Now to make the center piece, you're going to take your six by five and a half sheet of design paper and let's take, hold on a second, let me get my hold on a second, sorry. Try to get my smaller scoreboard. Okay, now we're going to score. We're going to score it at on the six-inch side. We're going to score it at half inch. Okay, and then one inch, five, and five and a half. Okay, and then on the five and a half inch side, you're just going to turn. We're going to score it at half an inch, one inch, three, and three and a half. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to this part right here where it has the two score lines that are close to each other, that's going to be the bottom. So this part's going to be the top. Now we're going to cut this part out. So cut that whole piece out. So we're going to move it out on both sides. Okay, and then on the bottom piece, we're going to cut these two small pieces out, and we're going to do that to both sides. So cut that out. Okay, and then we're going to cut just the one square out. So we're going to cut that one square out but we're going to cut all the way to the end of this line right here. Okay, so there should be a, a little slit right here. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and fold in the crease line. So let's move this out of the way. So let's fold in all the crease lines here. Okay, and now this part right here, you're going to fold it forward, okay? So that flap, it should basically go like this, okay? Now, we're going to cut the little hole right here. So all I do is I just take my little cutting pad here, and I take my ruler and my X-Acto knife, and I just cut right here on the crease line, and... I leave about, let's say about a half an inch on each end. So let's start at the one inch mark. So it's basically four inches. So we're going to start at half an inch all the way to uh, 
as you know, let's not do half an inch. We'll do a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to start at a quarter of an inch and stop at three and three quarters. Okay, so you cut that line and then we're going to cut again another line. And it's about, I think a quarter inch thick. It's up to you how thick you want it, but I think I just made mine a quarter inch thick. Okay, and then I just, I don't even use the ruler anymore, I just cut a straight line. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So it looks like that. And then you're just going to clip um, your clothespins. Let me get, sorry, let me get a clothespin. Should have been a little bit more prepared here. Okay, so you're going to take your clothespin. This one's not altered, but then it's just, you're going to see it's going to clip like that, okay? So that's that. Now let's go ahead and add the adhesive to this. And I use, um, it's called Miracle Tape, and I got this um, idea from uh, Carrie. She's, um, I'll put her, I think she's Duffer09. Hey Carrie. Um, she had shared this in one of her haul videos uh, from Viva Las Vegas Stamps. And this is called Miracle Tape, and this is the quarter inch size, and it's really nice tape, really um, strong. So, thank you, Carrie, for sharing that. Um, so, let me show you now. So, I'm going to tape basically the bottom right here. So, I'm going to add just some tape right there. And then you're going to add a little piece right here. Add a little piece right there. You're going to add a piece right here. Just on this one, okay? And do the same on this side. And then you're going to add on here, on the back of here. And then I just put one right at the end of the crease lines at. Okay, so that's where you're going to tape it. Okay, so let's get our piece right here and just remove the tape. Well, let me take this piece out first. That's how I do it. And then I just line it up right here. Okay, I line it up. Okay, and then I start removing these out. Okay, so now I'm going to fold that in. Basically just going to line it. Well, here, actually, let's do this first. Sorry, let's do that. Let's close the box first. You can actually build the bottom part portion of the box first if you want to. Maybe that's what I should have done, but let's just do this. Okay, now you can close that. Close that. See, this tape is really sticky, which is really awesome. Okay, now we're just going to line it to the bottom of the part of this. Okay, there. So um, the reason why I did that is because I wanted the sides. Oh, it's not 
really straight, but I wanted the sides to be covered. I need to fix that. So actually, you know what, honestly, just build the bottom first. It's probably easier. I think that's what I did with the other one, okay? It's, otherwise it's gonna get crooked like how I just um, did that one. So you just clip it like that, okay? Now to close it, I just took, the other one I used seam binding, but this I'm just gonna use some Martha Stewart, you know, thread, and all you're gonna do is, um, you're gonna fold it in half. This is about a yard. You probably don't need this much, but depending how long you want your bow and everything, so I would go with the yard. You could always cut it, but you're basically going to fold it like this in half, okay? This end um, is gonna go through here, okay? So you're gonna put this through the left side of the eyelet, okay? And then this end, you're just going to tie a knot. You could double knot it, single knot it, it's up to you. And again, it also depends too on what type of ribbon you're using. I'm just gonna double knot it. Sometimes I even make three knots. I'll do three knots. Because this thread is a little bit thinner than this. It's not as wide as the seam binding. Okay, so do that, and then I'm going to cut the ends to make it look a little bit nicer. Okay, let's do that. Okay, now we're going to close it. So this end you're going to cut, but you can cut it afterwards because it makes it easier to put it through, which is what... I'm going to do. So I want to close that. I'm going to take this, put it through the bottom part, and then I'm going to take the top part. Okay, and I want to pull it kind of shape our box here a little bit. Okay, see, you see there's a lot of thread left, so you probably don't really need a yard. Maybe 24 inches is probably enough. Okay, and now I'm just going to tie my bow. Now you'll notice I don't tie a knot first because it makes it easier when you open it. So I just create my bow first. Then I create another bow. You can even make three bows if you make your string a yard. See? You can even do three. It'd be pretty. Okay. So that's how you do it. And I love how it looks on the side. It's really cute and adorable. And you could do this for clothespins. You could do these for those pins that you guys all alter. Um, you can even do it for those bottle cap charms that everyone's doing. You'll just have to hook it different. Um, then what I see here, I have my little template here. It's my little cheat sheet. But you know, you could hook them bottle caps dangling from here. So there's so many things that you can probably put in there. So that's how I create it, and have fun creating. Thanks for watching. Bye.